Okay guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to assign an IP address to your Sharp copier. I'm going to be using a Sharp MX 5070V, uh, one of the newer models out. If your machine looks anything like this, doesn't matter what model it is, it's uh, the same process that's going to apply to all the machines. If you're using an older machine, it's, it, you should, it's going to look different on the display, but you should still be able to figure your way around your old machine watching this video. Uh, so let me point out uh, one thing that the newer machines here come with the optional well actually I shouldn't say optional it comes standard with a wireless uh, feature uh, if you don't want to use a hard wire I prefer hard wire I always like hard wiring everything printers uh, computers or so it's just so much faster and more steady but if you have this machine in a location where you just absolutely cannot put a network cable then you'll use the wireless feature and we'll talk about that in just a second so let's get started i'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off here so we get a better view of the screen here so okay so when you're at your home screen which is here you know you can select that and it'll take you to the home screen um you'll select settings and right here you have to log on as admin so you'll you'll select login admin the admin password is admin lowercase and login. If you can get past this issue, guys, I have some bad news for you. You're in trouble. You're definitely going to have to contact an authorized Sharp dealer to reset this password for you. Let me save you time. Don't go online. Don't Google it. Don't waste your time trying to find how to reset it because there is no way other than contacting Sharp for them to authorize you a very long code and it takes like a few days for you to for Sharp to generate this code and get back to you. So it's it's a um, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, so that's why if you if you change your admin password for whatever reason, I suggest you save it. Don't lose it or else you're you're going to be in trouble. So anyhow, uh, if you get past uh, the login and um, you're in, you just select network settings. And this is where you, uh, the first thing that you see here, the quick settings. Uh, I selected uh, wired only, but to change that, you'll hit the down arrow. But we'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, so let me get back out of here. So once you're wired, just put your finger on display and move up. So this will scroll you down. Uh, if you already know, if you already know which IP address you want to assign this copier, you would simply uh, hit the down arrow, hit disabled, you want to disable DACP, so you can now manually type in the IP address. That's how I like to do it. Uh, if you don't know how to find a free IP address in your network, uh, you probably shouldn't be doing this on your own, but anyhow, it's really up to you. Uh, give it a shot and you know you might be successful and get this on your network uh, so if you don't know or have an IP address you want to assign it and you want the copier to find one for you then you will turn on DHCP so you'll come back here to the drop the little arrow drop down and you'll select enable uh, when you do that you'll hit submit and the copier will find one you definitely have to be hardwired or logged in wirelessly to your machine before you the the copier could find a free IP address on your range so as you can see here uh, I have it on DHCP just for this demo it did find this IP address if I were you uh, once you get uh, if your machine finds an IP address uh, that's within your range I would highly recommend you you copy that as well as the sub mask if you can see it's grayed out uh, submask and gateway. You can find the actual submask gateway by printing out the configuration report on this machine. It'll have all three. I would recommend coming back to static uh, and typing in exactly what the machine found. That way, the reason I don't like leaving it in DHCP is if for whatever reason you reset your router, you get a new router. Uh, it's going to give you a whole, the copier is going to find a whole new IP address and guess what? You now have to re set up everybody's computer uh, with a proper IP address and it could just become tedious. So my recommendation is put it back on static, okay? So now that you have that, uh, your machine's pretty much on the network. I recommend going to your computer and seeing if you can ping to the copier using whatever address it picked up or whatever address you put in there. Now let's talk about wireless. If you choose not to go hardwired, again, the way I have it here, you would select this, the down, road, down 
arrow, I should say, and you'll now select wireless infrastructure mode. And then, as you can see here, you got access point. You select that, and it's going to take a few seconds to find whatever uh, open SSIDs or networks are available. Um, and this is my neighbor. Let me see, I'm somewhere down here. Okay, here we are, Prestige. So I'm going to select that, and then we're going to hit OK. Now, as you can see, SSID says Prestige. This is where you type in your password to your network. Okay, and I'm assuming you you know that. If you don't, you better ask whoever set this up your wireless access point in your network and type in it. Just like a phone, uh, if you want to log on to, uh, wireless uh, whenever you're on within your network, same password. Okay, so there you have it. So uh, I showed you both steps and uh, hope this video helps you and your machines on your network and you're re you're able now to set up network print and network scan. I do have videos for that as well. Uh, go ahead and search on my uh, account and you'll be able to see them all.